Mystery islands. These sons of guns can be a pain in the butt. And no, I'm not just talking about villager hunting. That's a topic for other videos. I'm talking about just the mystery islands themselves. There are some cool items that you can find on these islands. Of course, the cool stuff are rare spawns and have a minute chance of showing up. What exactly are these islands good for besides villager hunting? Mystery Islands are a new mechanic to New Horizons that are available to be visited by using Nook Miles tickets that can be redeemed with Nook Miles. Holding a ticket in your pocket and visiting Orville in the airport will allow you to visit a Nook Mile Island. But are you getting the most out of them? There are items that will show up or have a chance of showing up on each island. There's always a wasp's nest chilling in a tree. You have to run around shaking them all, but if you want the extra cash, it's a good thing to grab. If you pass out from too many wasp stings, you'll find yourself looking at Wilbur rather than back on your island, so you don't really have to worry about wasting your Nook Miles ticket. Every island will also have one furniture item in a tree. Again, you have to shake every tree to find it, but it's there. Both the wasp and the furniture items are not available on islands like Bamboo Island. The mystery island must have either hardwood or cedar trees naturally growing on it. Each island also has a 50% chance of a fossil being buried somewhere on the island and a message in a bottle appearing on the beach, so make sure you look for both of those while you're hopping around. But what about the islands themselves? Thanks to data miners, we know every possible island that Wilbur can bring us to and the chances of ending up on said island. The wiki shows us a lot of the information you need to know about every island available. I won't list them all because that would take far too long. There are a total of 18, some with their own fruit, flowers, trees, bugs, and fish. A few of these islands have some cool stuff that you can get, but require things like a pole vault, a ladder, and upgraded resident services. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a specific island. First up, Tarantula Island. This island is just as it's called, full of tarantulas. They are unlimited and will keep respawning. Feel free to fill up your pockets with these hairy spiders and earn that money. It doesn't require a ladder, pole vault, or upgraded resident services, but it can only be visited once per day. Once you leave, you won't be able to visit again until 5am the following day. There is a 2% chance of finding Tarantula Island, and the spiders do have to be in season for you to be able to experience the island, and it has to be nighttime since tarantulas only spawn after 7pm. For the months that tarantulas aren't available, there is a scorpion island. It's available during the months that the scorpions are roaming free on your island. This specific island also has money rocks, which I had no idea about until literally just now. I've never bothered trying to hit the rocks to see what would come out, but apparently they do indeed have bells. Another fun island is Money Rock Island. This one isn't super rare. While it only has a 5% spawn rate, whenever I villager hunt, I find these quite frequently. The island holds 5 rocks, which are all like the money rock on your home island. When hit, they'll drop a full 16,100 bells, which will get you a total of 80,500 bells on this island. This one can be found multiple times per day. It's not a great way to grind for bells, but if you happen to be villager hunting or looking for a specific island, it's worth taking the time to grab the bells if you need them. You have to destroy the rock at the north part of the island, which will drop more bells, and then pole vault south to the middle of the island. Finding this island requires a pole vault in your pocket. And if you don't have a shovel while you're on the island, you can buy one from Wilbur. Sister Fruit Island is a convenient one if you're still at the beginning of the game and don't have all the fruit. Everyone's game has a sister fruit, which is a non-native fruit to your island that can be found during Mystery Island tours. There's a ton of fruit trees here, so stock up and plant some trees back home or sell them for 500 bells a pop. Finally, one of the best islands, Gold Rock Island. This mysterious island has a single rock in the middle that when hit will produce 8 golden nuggets instead of the usual clay, iron, and stone. You do have to bring your ladder and vaulting pole to be able to even have a chance to arrive on the island. Once you have these tools in your possession, there is a 0.3% chance of finding Gold Rock Island. During my entire 1,188 ticket molly hunt, didn't find this island once. If you want to know all the percent chances of finding each island and more information on them, check out the wiki that I've linked below and Ninji's map guide. Ninji's is slightly out of date because some spawn rates changed and islands were removed during the 1.2 Earth Day update. If you're going to utilize both, compare the information between the two sites. The wiki is fully updated, but doesn't lay out the information as nicely as Ninji's does. Speaking of removed islands, the developers did indeed remove two islands back during the Earth Day update. Both were hybrid flower islands, which held hybrid versions of your sister flower. The hybrids on these islands seem to be perfect genetic hybrid flowers, so they could be used to quickly get the rest of the hybrids of that specific flower type. For whatever reason, the developers thought that these islands were no longer needed. I'm not sure if they planned on them being available for a limited time or if something was so broken about them that they had to be removed. 
If you look at Ninji's guide, he has numbered the islands as they appear in the code, and there are a few numbers missing. 11 and 16 are the two hybrid islands, but we're still missing five more. It's unclear if these islands could be added in the future or if they were removed during development. I would love to see the hybrid islands return. It was a cute island to come across. I also want to see new islands in the future. I'm really hopeful that's what those missing islands are, whether permanent or temporary. It would be cool to have the Mayday Island return as a rare spawn with some kind of cool reward at the end. I'm down for more things to do even if it's almost impossible to find it. Or maybe you could find an island with a ton of resources available for you to just grab. What would you want to see for mystery islands in the future? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! By the way, scorpions and tarantulas, tarantulas.